Hi, I'm Steve Arterburn, and I'm the head of New Life, and I host a radio show called New Life Live, and I also love to write books. And I've been involved with several children's series, and uh, the latest book I've done for anybody between age 8 and 12, or could be even younger, is a book called Kirby McCook and the Jesus Chronicles. Now look at this subtitle. 12 year old, a 12 year old's take on the totally unboring, slightly weird stuff in the Bible, including fish guts, wrestling moves, and stinky feet. This is a Bible story book, but I think you're going to find out it's not like any other Bible story book you've ever read or had read to you. And my co author, Marcus Brotherton, he's a New York Times best selling author, and I think this is one of the best things he's ever done. So let's get started, and I'll show you the illustrations as we go along. The book says, start reading here, so we will. This isn't the first chapter, it's just the introduction. Jimmy let out a sneeze louder than a motorbike with no muffler, and we knew we were doomed. We were sitting around in junior church that morning while the grown-ups were upstairs in big people church. All 12 of us kids, Jimmy, Noah, Emma, Olivia, Mason, Philippe, Jaden, my sister Aggie, Aisha, Zuri Claire, my brother Jojo, and me, Kirby McCook. The sneeze blasted out of Jimmy's nose. Kablazablam! His sneeze goop slammed into the carpet, wham, and sat there like a pile of of steaming monkey barf. I told you it wasn't like any Bible story book you'd heard before. That's when our teacher, Mrs. Higgins, threw up her hands and said, oh, I can't do this anymore. And she walked out. Jimmy wiped his nose on his shirt sleeve, elbowed Jaden in the guts, and said, go see where she's going. So Jaden slunk out to follow Mrs. Higgins from a distance. And that's the last we saw of him for a good 11 minutes till he came back and said, Guys, she's gone. Gone, Jimmy said. What do you mean? Now, that's Jimmy. <laughs> that's him sneezing. And here are all the kids, if you can see them. Um, I could name them for you. Jimmy, Philippe, there's Emma. This one is uh, Mason, and here's Olivia, and then Noah. Here's Aisha. This is Jaden. Here's um, Aggie and Jojo. That's me. And um, you'll see, here's who I really care about. And um, I think you'll like her too. Zuri Claire. Well, she slammed her car door and roared down the road, gone, Jaden said. I saw Kirby's grandpa McCook talking to her before she left, but she did leave. I don't think she's coming back. Remember what Mrs. Higgins told us last time Jimmy treated us to a blasto sneeze. Aisha sighed. Mrs. Higgins said her blood pressure went up. Way, 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 way up, whatever that means. Well, that's five whole days away, Jaden said knowingly. It means we don't have a teacher anymore. We're sunk. Trembling, Mason said, oh no, if we don't have a regular teacher, we'll get Mrs. Calvert as a substitute again. And well, that'll just bore us to death. Everyone started talking at once, really freaking out. Well, here's the plan, Jaden said. He has a real big voice, like his dad, the pastor, so we all got quiet and we looked at him. One of us kids has to teach junior church today and the rest of us better listen because our parents will ask what we learned. Maybe Mrs. Higgins, well, maybe we'll come back next week. So who's gonna teach, asked Philippe. 15 silent seconds passed, then every eyeball looked at me, Kirby McCook, age 12. You do it, Kirby, Jojo said. You've been going to church forever. You should know something by now. I looked him square in the eye and said, nuts to you, potato boy. I'm not teaching anything. But you have to, Zuri Claire said. You're the best, 
she gave me a, a little grin. Okay, I'll do it, I said quickly. Way, way, way too quickly. I have a secret crush on Jerry Claire. If you tell anyone, I'll punch you in the nose. Before my face went ketchup colored, I walked to the front and with as much coolness as you've ever seen a guy have, I said, okay class, what shall we study? Dinosaurs, Jimmy shouted. Not again, yelled everybody. Jimmy always wanted dinosaurs. I said, I'll tell you what we're going to study. We're going to study Jesus. Jesus, everybody said, like that was such a surprise topic for junior church. How could I go wrong with a subject like that, right? Well, we began our study of Jesus. So that's the introduction to Kirby McCook and the Jesus Chronicles. And if you'll tune in next time, we'll start with story number one.